Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial on how to install JGR's patch pack. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to a really quick tutorial on how to install the JGR patch pack. Um, so a quick introduction about what the GGR patch pack is, is um, what the people in the community have done is that they've taken the vanilla version of OpenTTD and enhanced it with some uh, kind of, um, if you want to call them patches, uh, mods um, over and above the game to give additional functionality. Now the reason why they're generally separate is that the developers of the original OpenTTD, TTD, if I get my teeth in, they prefer to keep that particular version of the game true to the original Transport Tycoon Deluxe and try and keep it as close to that as possible. Uh, but with the advent of time, you know, that was a game from uh, the mid 90s. Um, people want additional functionality. So there's a couple of patch packs out there where people have added additional functionality in there and create their own version of OpenTTD. Um, there is, a, I think there's a, T a TTD patch. Um, and other collections of those, but the I would say the most popular version of that is uh, JGR's patch pack, uh, which is a, a chat from the community. Provides a version of OpenTTD with a lot of different changes, different functionalities. So um, I'm going to put on the screen now a list of some of the new features that they've got, uh, particularly ones that I particularly like and I'll probably do another video about those, uh, my favourite features of the patch pack. Uh, things like uh, routing restrictions, programmable signals, um, uh, t uh, tunnels underwater, um, those sorts of things, multi-aspect signals, uh, new uh, ability or added functionality or um, style of one-way roads, so you can have one-way road through depots, things like that, that's really handy if you're building a, a road network. Um, a better level of um, functionality within level crossings, tunnels and those sorts of things, um, different types of airports. Um, so there's a long list of things, um, I'll, I'll put the link on the um, ttforums.net uh, webpage which lists all of those out. But they, you know, some of those are really popular and uh, some of the features are quite complex. I hope to do some tutorials on those. So the reason for doing the tutorial on how to install uh, the patch pack, I don't think it is that obvious about what you're supposed to do. So I'm just going to walk you through it with some screenshots that I've taken of how I've done it in the past. Now, this installation will be separate to your, uh, the vanilla OpenTTD version of the game. So you've either got that directly from the website download or you can do that via Steam now, the, via the Steam client to install it for free. You need This installation needs to be totally separate to that installation. The only bit, the bit that is common is the documents folder of where you are going to be storing your save game scenarios and download your GRFs and things like that. So, uh, best thing to do is have a quick Google on um, where the OpenTDD patch is and um, again I'll share the, um, an image of the uh, website of where you can get that down and download that from. What you ultimately want to do is download um, the recent release from GitHub, uh, so from this page. And then from here you can then get the version that you want if you're using 64-bit um, Windows like I am or Mac OS or other um, kind of uh, flavours of uh, Windows and other operating systems are available as well. So what you do is you click the link for your particular uh, version and it'll download a zip file for you in your, in your downloads. And it's very small, a very small pack. Um, you know, the current one's um, a couple of... I think it's about 25 meg. So you download that and unpack that folder to the destination of your choice. Now what I've done is I've downloaded, uh, kind of unpacked that um, zip file into C program files because uh, I'm on Windows. And in there you'll see you'll have an openctd.exe file. And 
just create a shortcut, right click onto that and create a copy and paste a shortcut onto your desktop if you wanted to do that as well. And that's the executable that you want to be running to open up OpenCTD like I've got here, which is the JGR patch pack version. So it's reasonably straightforward. Go to the um, GitHub website, download the release and the package that you know, is relevant for your machine. Unzip that um, um, the, the package into a folder of your choice, which does need to be separate to your um, other installations of OpenTTD and then use the OpenTTD.exe file that's in that folder. So there's a really quick tutorial, hopefully you come back for other tutorials soon on the JGR patch um, pack and other, um, other things in OpenTTD. But until I see you again, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye bye.